apps like Cambridge Analytica in the US come in. They collect huge databases of information about people. That means companies or political parties can tailor their adverts or messages to specific audiences. Harvesting the information is legal as long as the people giving it know it's being collected. I think people are getting the uh, are getting to a point where they're just providing information and not thinking about the implications. And there are security issues, there are privacy issues, and there are issues of hey, it ain't none of your business. And I think everybody ought to think twice before they reveal any information unless they know why they're doing it. Details from millions of Facebook users were gathered by a professor from the UK's Cambridge University using a personality testing app he'd created called This Is Your Digital Life. Those Facebook users gave their permission for the information to be used by him, but it's alleged the data was then sold to a third party, Cambridge Analytica, in violation of Facebook's own policies. Cambridge Analytica was employed by Donald Trump's presidential campaign in 2016. The often personal information it held on millions of Facebook users is said to have allowed the Trump campaign to influence how many of them voted. The company is also said to have done the same thing in the run-up to Britain's Brexit vote in 2016. Cambridge Analytica denies wrongdoing. It says it deleted all relevant records in December 2015 when it discovered how the data had been obtained from Facebook. It also says none of the data was used for the Trump presidential campaign. Facebook also says it's done nothing wrong. Its legal counsel says, We are moving aggressively to determine the accuracy of these claims. If true, this is another unacceptable violation of trust and the commitments made. We will take legal action if necessary to hold them responsible and accountable for any unlawful behavior. While Facebook has suspended Cambridge Analytica, some say it's not doing enough. The entire statement that Facebook published um, essentially contradicts itself because it talks about you know, all these measures that they are going to take to protect the data. But then on the other hand, they knew that you know, there had been a breach of data and they hadn't done anything. This latest controversy is again raising questions about whether personal information should be used as a political tool. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.